pedal aficionados to another uh, Karl Martin pedal. Uh, Karl Martin, a couple of years ago, uh, changed their product line to a smaller, uh, more slim design and uh, revamped uh, was some of their old pedals in a very effective way. So this is what they look like now. Um, super rounded off. I'm going to hold this in the in Leslie's favorite camera here so we can actually see the beautiful round offedness. Top loaded ins and outs, all this beautiful aluminum chassis, super lightweight. Um, so if we look at the purple moon that's on the table from several angles, because well, we have to justify buying those damn cameras, you can see it's a it's a beautiful design. Um, as my friend Moritz pointed out, uh, the the fonts are horrible. They, they they it's it's not very sexy. I think the pedal design is sexy. The design on the pedal not very sexy. And also, um, once we start looking from the top, you can see that it's kind of tough to read. It's definitely tough to film. And I don't know if uh, certain lighting uh, conditions on a stage will allow you to see what's happening. Um, come on, Leslie, we got more angles. Yeah, I mean, give the people an idea of what the pedal looks like. There you go. Now, that was 5,000 euros in cameras justified. You know what, baby, once in a while during the video, switch to those so that I can justify buying those cameras to my girlfriend. Otherwise, she's all like, me, baby, me. No, she's not. So, beautiful pedals. Uh, they don't break the bank. I think the most expensive one, which is the Comp, is 179. Most of them are like 110. That's absolutely amazing for a pedal designed by Carl Martin in Europe, in Denmark, by an amazing team. Uh, they're just great people. They supported the channel from very early on, and I'm very uh, glad they did, which is why they're not paying for any of these Carl Martin videos. They just supplied the product, which I kind of need to show the product. So show the product, Leslie. Um the product. Here's the purple moon. Is this as focused as it can be? I don't know. It's tough with that writing. As you can see, I don't know. We're going to go with that's in focus. Um, so what is the purple moon? It's a fuzz. Yay! Univibe. Yay! Love a univibe. Uh, the bigger one had two speeds. Fuck that, you don't need that. What it is is it's your freaking Hendrix in a box pedal. Everything you need to have that swooshy, wooshy, Hendrixy fuzz thing. One pedal, lightweight, doesn't break the bank. There you go. Which is why I have my McMull S Classic here. Um, the only thing I will criticize, well, on the Purple Moon, I criticize th through three things the color of the writing, you can see it's not super easy to read which I criticized on the Purple Moon, on the big pedal when I reviewed this, there are no little white lines on these mini pots, even though you can buy these mini pots with white lines on them. That is something they should have done. Um, and uh, if you go to the pedal side, Leslie, uh, the ins and outs, top mounted, perfect, yes, but you need extremely small plugs. Even this flat patch cable uh, isn't, I mean, it's already kind of, on the 9 volt. So if you have normal pancake uh, cables or something, the, they will not fit. So you need extremely small plugs. That's something on the knob. Okay, so now we're going to go into sounds, and then we're going to go into more sounds, and then we're done. Um, going into the Tone King Sky King, which is a clean platform, but we're going to do different things as well. Uh, it's the green thing over there. And it's going to be uh, going through the... Uh, Scott Dixon 112, aluminum cap underneath, Mike with the Lewitt MTP 440, and also through the Ox with the cream back loaded 412. Now clean with this rather amazing axe sounds like this. <laughs> So if you turn this on and you have the fuzz all the way down, what you actually have is a clean univibe. For me, the 
Univibe is the go-to modulation. Before I would go uh, for Flanger Phaser or Chorus, a Univibe kind of combines all of these for me. Uh, so um, I, I love the damn sound. <laughs> Got some dirt, it's got some grit, it's got Univibe, just has it. Now, interestingly, this is the level, it's kind of level for clean. See, nothing happening, but if I crank up this tiny little level, it's the level for fuzz. So clean and fuzz run in parallel. And it's a gnarly fuzz. clean and fuss. some delay on there and here we go <laughs> Now the big question is how does it sound level down in the Univibe only, but in an amp that's already cranking. So we're gonna try the Marshall JCM 800. <laughs> JCM and So while we're at it, we actually start at different kind of amps um, and we're gonna do the, well, what's more Hendrix than a Plexi? We're gonna do the uh, SV20H, the Mini Plexi. <laughs> I kind of would be an idiot to test a Carmartin pedal without the Carmartin amp, which apparently I did for three videos. <laughs> So 
So, with the pedal. Friedman Small Box 50, which is also Plexi. Okay, we're gonna go into the Carl Martin Custom Shop 50. That's a fat ass amp. works um we are moving on to let's do that the os module in the sin 50 which is a very fat uh, dumbbell style thing <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I, I suck at Hendrix. I literally never learned any of that stuff. Uh, we move on to the orange Rockerburg 50. Now, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Everything sounds different in the orange, uh, but we have more the uh, AC20. This is a voxy th thing. Beautiful. I'm butchering things here. Uh, we got more amps. Uh, Marshall JCM 800, we already had. <laughs> That sounds phenomenal with that amp. And then we got the Engel Savage 120. Big thing under my clock. That's not true. This is the Engel Savage 120. <laughs> So 
So, Carl Martin, Purple Moon. You want instant Hendrix? Uh, and you know how to play it, uh, unlike me? Uh, go for it. It's affordable. It's a great build. Great company. Cool people to support. What's not to love? Ah, uh, really, that's all I gotta say. Um, links below. Please use them. That actually helps me. Links below to Patreon. Please support me. That really helps me and the animals and Leslie. This is a big operation. You have no idea what's going on behind the camera. Um, so please, if you like the videos, support us. Yeah. Animals at the end, as always. Forget all my fears Hold me and don't let go I don't care what people say It's my